Hey guys, welcome to downtown Dubai. Today we're going to be looking for camels, but first, well, George has got a music lesson, so he has to do that first. And then we're going to be looking for camels in a place called Umal Kuwait. And we're near the uh, Mall of the Emirates. That's the Mall of the Emirates, just behind me. You can't really see it, but it's down there. And this is a part of uh, Dubai that's like, it's called Bar Out Bar. It's like the worst traffic ever. Anyway, we're gonna wait for Georgie to finish and then we're gonna get on the road to Um Al Kuwain. This is the part of Dubai that not many tourists get to see. This is like the back of Dubai, the, the behind the tourist areas. I'm just in a car park near to where George's music school is because he plays the uh, saxophone. And this is not what you see in the glossy brochures, to be fair. As I said, this is, this is where the normal people live. And uh, it's Al Barsha. It's uh, really hot today, actually. It's about 38 degrees, maybe 40. And uh, out in the sun, and it, it's, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. And out in the sun, it, it's pretty hot. Now, where we're going, as I said, we're going to Um Al Kuwait. And that's, that's near the coast. It's, it's further along, um, out of Dubai, through an emirate called Sharjah, through another emirate called Ajman, and then you get to a place called Um Al Kuwait. And on the way to Um Al Kuwait, there's a, there's a place called the Barracuda Resort and Beach Resort and Spa. But on the way to the Barracuda, Barracuda Beach Resort and Spa, there's like this desert area and the camels are normally hanging around there so that's where we're going to go and previously there used to be like a little airport at Um Al Kuwait and in this airport there used to be a very old um is either Russian or Ukrainian transport plane an Antonov type thing so we're going to see if we can find that as well it may not be there anymore but we'll go and have a look maybe we'll see now the reason we're going this late in the day is because camels like the rest of us even though they're the ship of the desert don't like the heat so what we're going to do we're aiming to get there for about 4 30 5 o'clock you know it's a bit twilighty but the heat of the day is gone by then it'll still be bloody hot but it won't be as hot as it is now and hopefully the camels will be out and about and you'll get to see some real you know wild camels out in the desert that's the emirates mall the uh, the first biggest mall to be done here in dubai and that big monstrosity sticking on the top of it that's where they make artificial snow. So you can go skiing. Georgie, you went skiing once. Look, yeah. look, he's acting as if he's so tired. I want to sleep. Why? Because I don't want to waste my energy when we get to the camels. Because they're. Because you're so old now, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so old. That's what happens when you're 11. You're so old. That's the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, as I said, and that is Sheikh Zayed Road, where everything happens, apparently. Not been down there for a long time myself, but uh, there we go. Just want to show you this, because we're coming up to uh, the library here in Dubai. But first, if you see, there's one of the Dubai Metro um, stations. Now, those of you who watch Star Trek, if you have a look at Star Trek Beyond, or I think that's what it's called. You'll see those stations on the uh, on the space station. But there's the Sheikh Mohammed Library over there, once I get past these cars, and it's designed to look like a book. <laughs> of course, because it's a library. Who would have thunk it? Well, we managed to make it to Um Al Kuwain, but unfortunately, no camels. The camels have all gone to be replaced by litter, basically. But what we have found, it's still here, is the very old Russian Soviet Union Antonov, which is looking worse for wear. But then again, it has been sat in the desert for like a billion years. And uh, here it is coming up now. You can't really get to it. Um, not that I can see. We'll, we'll try and give it a go in a bit. It's so cool. But there it is. That's the Antonov. And it's, as I said, it's falling apart. It's been there for like donkey's years. But there you go. And there's another plane next to it. Yeah, I know. Antonov in the middle of the desert, basically. It is now. Hello, that's a big plane. I like it. It's an Antonov. Yeah, I know that. 
It's a very old Antonov. And there's an even older plane falling apart behind it. But that's a very old Russian Ukrainian Antonov, Soviet Union era, sat here in Umalquain in the desert, rotting away. So yesterday was a bit of a disaster, if I'm being honest. We we tried to go and find camels out in the wild, but there weren't any. Uh, <laughs> it's as simple as that. They've all disappeared somewhere else. So we're going to try again today and see if we can find those elusive camels. Um, but this time, I'm 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 pretty certain we're going to find them, mainly because I'm going to go to a camel farm, which is just out in the desert. So let's see if we can find some camels. We're heading towards a camel farm. Oh man, I, yeah, I'll be so miffed if it's closed and it doesn't look very open to me. So we're driving up to the farm and my dad and I don't know if it's open or not. <laughs> I don't think it's open. Although all the, all the barriers are open, so it might be. You can well, there are people there. We're not the only people. We're not the only crazy morons that come out into the middle of the day. Yay! To the camel farm. Yeah. Here we are at the camel farm in the middle of the desert. Literally in the middle of the desert. It's, it's, there's nothing here. But there's a camel farm. Pigeons! And George is getting excited over pigeons for some reason. And there, there are pigeons. George is getting very, 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 very excited over pigeons. Which are in a nice shaded area. But we need to go and work out how to get in. See, we're going to see the camels. Here at the camel farm. Bird. There you go, look. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. Oh, that's uh, very up close and personal, isn't it? To draw the attention of the camel, you need to feed their fur. <laughs> hello, what are you doing, guys? Yeah. Oh, look at him, to big boy. Okay. Once I'm taking the food, you let it go. Okay. After that, you can give them a stroke, okay? Yeah. Stop trying to eat my camera. You just hold the food at the bottom, yeah. like this. You give to the camera. See. After that, maybe you go closer, you give a stroke to the camera. No problem. Okay. Okay. Look at him go, look at him go. Okay. Georgie with the camera. This one are just baby camels. These are the baby camels. Yeah, we have babies, we have the baby, we have the male, the big one here. We have the female that are that other side of the camera. <laughs> he just stole this food. Yeah. Um, which one should I give it to? Any favourite camel you want. Give it to anyone you want. Yeah. You choose your favourite and give it to. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> so these oh. are the baby camels that George yeah. is feeding. Look, you can be give camel like this, you give full like this, I'll stroke camel like this, okay? You need to be stroking them too, okay? okay. Don't be scared, they're just baby, they will not buy shoes, okay? Yay. You hold your foot like this. Yeah. Look, you stand like this, you hold your foot like okay. this, I'll stroke yeah. them like this. Yeah. Go on, Georgie. Okay. You can do it. You won't hurt you. Go for it, big fella. What are you doing? What was that? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> They're very friendly. They're very friendly indeed. See? Hello. What are you doing? You can't eat my phone. Are you guys fine? <laughs> <laughs> So, welcome to the UAE, guys. See, there are, there are camels everywhere all around me. Look at this. I'm absolutely snowed onto with camels. Or well, sanded onto, as it, as it would be. Camels everywhere. Nice lady coming. See? Lady camel. <laughs> There you go, lady. Oh, she's trying to eat my stick. <laughs> Little lady camel. What are you doing barging me out of the way? <laughs> yeah, hello. Oh, 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 camels everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's a camel. 
<laughs> you name it, there's a camel. <laughs> Surrounded by them. Ships of the desert. <laughs> what more do you want? Hey? Oh, this is the biggest camel in the farm apparently. Look at him, it's like a giraffe. Yeah. It's in there. Wowzers, he's huge. You're a big boy, aren't you? You really are a big boy. I can't reach him. See how big the, those are. Ladies, you give it ladies. Look at this, this. he's here. huge. Massive. Uh -huh. You see, he's big. You have a long neck. It's like a giraffe, isn't he? Look at that. What a big boy he or you are. Yeah, you're a big fella. Oh, Georgie, feed him so I can film it. See, this is how big he is. Look at Georgie. I mean, Georgie's not small, really. Look how big he is. He's huge. Just to say goodbye to the big cover. He's absolutely massive. Bye bye. Start the George has got a favourite. Bigger than Georgie, he's worried about them. Hello, you. Hello. Hello, Hello Georgie. Okay. Camels are big. Bye -bye, guys. Bye -bye, guys. Cheerio, fellas. Or ladies, even. Bye. That's the camel farm. But the thing is, we, we were meant to have an appointment, so we had to do a deal, which were very kind of them very kind of them to let us in and, uh, and actually visit the camels because they didn't need to um to be fair you meant to have a booking and it's ramadan and everything is uh you know meant to be done according to plan and these are the these are the baby camels again hello baby camels hello baby camels how's the baby camels doing hello hello baby camel yeah see little baby camels Hello, yeah, hello, how are you, yeah, and you, so we're going to leave the baby camels on the camel farm, we're going to come back again another time, we'll book it and we'll come back so you can see more of it, um, because this was just a one-off really, because yesterday was just a disaster, we couldn't find any camels, but today we guaranteed finding camels because we came to the camel farm, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. That was our visit to the camel farm.